class today, I'll be offering it for the repose of the soul of Josefa Espino by Fernando and Becky Espino. And Father Freddy's intention will be for Rudy Mendoza by, uh, on part of the, his family. The entrance antiphon. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be joy and his people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there, or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not round his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the house they build, and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear, and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will, I will praise you, Lord, Lord, for you have rescued me. me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. A nightfall weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I will, I will praise you, Lord, Lord, for you have, have rescued me. me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me, O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, Lord for you, you have rescued, rescued me. me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. When he returned to Cana and Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, 
You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may notice that we're in the Daily Chapel today, and that is because at the rectory we're having to have some work done. There was a uh, water line leak, and so rather than try to have Mass amidst the sounds of construction and, or, or perhaps deconstruction and fixing, uh, we, we came over here to the Daily Chapel, and once the problem is solved, we'll be back at, at the home chapel. So that's, what, that's why the change of scenery here. On this Monday, we celebrate the gift of faith. The gift of faith that stands beyond that which we can prove. I know it is hard for us to not be able to attend Mass in person. To be able to, 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 to simply have to have faith and listen to the Mass on, on YouTube, on Facebook, on the radio, on various means of, of public and social media. But like the man who comes to Jesus asking for his son's healing, we must believe. We must believe even though we cannot be there. We must share our faith and continue to be Catholic in the midst of all that is going on. To continue to, to make our prayers, to continue to believe in Jesus Christ, and to continue graciously accepting the Lord's blessing in our lives. And so as we continue in this Mass, let us pray for the gift of faith, that we may believe what Jesus has said may be done in our lives. And so let us stand now to present our needs to the Lord our God. Let us pray for Francis, our Pope, for Michael, our Bishop, and for all who lead us in the faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Let us pray for, all, for, for more vocations, especially to priesthood and religious life from within our diocese and within our community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for all those who have asked for some prayer from us, especially those whom we may have overlooked or forgotten, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for all those who are shut in, those who are quarantined, those who are ill, and those who are caring for them, that the Lord may give us grace in this time of, of pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers and for our own needs, which we present to God now in the silence of our hearts. For these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty God, you know our needs before we ever present them to you. We ask that you grant them if they be according to your will, and we ask this through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it, is, is, right it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Today, we remember Josefa Espino. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. 
Have mercy, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I'm worthy so that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. As I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus, I creo que estás presente en el Santísimo Sacramento. Quemo por encima de todas las cosas, y deseo recibirte en mi alma. Como ahora no puedo recibirte sacramentalmente, entra al menos espiritualmente en mi corazón. Te abrazo como si ya estuvieras allí y me uno completamente a ti. Nunca permitas que me separe de ti. Amén. The communion antiphon. I will place my spirit within you and make you walk according to my laws. In my judgments you shall keep and observe, says the Lord. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 We are still having confessions at 5 o'clock every day, Monday through Friday, and we also have the office open from 8 o'clock till noon, Monday through Thursday. And also, your donations are still being appreciated. Please come by the office or mail it in. Please subscribe to the channel so we may be able to stream these masses live. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks. Please Thanks be to God. God.